many, many supplies cheaper than you or I. Because I would only buy one or two pieces, they may buy a hundred pieces. And so they will get cheaper because they can go to the outlet store, construction outlet. And our store, no, no VAT. Right, no VAT. And then also, another kind of outlet, this is called an electrical outlet because the, you put the plug in and the electricity will come out. So it is an outlet for electricity. Okay? Another word for that over there for the door can be an outlet. Can be an outlet. Okay? We don't use that word very much in that way, but it is also an outlet. Okay, an exit. Exit would be another word. Another word, exit. The electricity can come out of the outlet. It is an electrical exit. Can be. Okay, or this is an exit from this road. Okay, it is an exit. Okay, on your paper, pronunciation drill, it says review countable versus uncountable nouns. Okay, do you see that? Countable versus uncountable nouns. Okay, can somebody Read, huh? Countable versus it mean we as. We're going to go to that right now. Countable versus it mean was. Versus. Versus it mean like this. Yes. Boy, can you read the instructions there, please? What is a countable noun? Can you read that for us? Please read it. Pl louder. Countable nouns are for things you can count using numbers. They have singular and plural form. You can use a or an with the singular form of a countable noun. Mm -hmm. If you want to ask about the quanti quantity, quantity, quantity. Of a countable noun, you ask how many? Yes. Okay. Does everybody understand that? Do you understand that, Din? You understand? Yes. Okay. Okay. Countable nouns are for things you can count using numbers. They have a singular and plural form. You can use a or an with a singular form of a countable noun. If you want to ask about the quantity of a countable noun, you ask how many? Okay. June, what is the first word un uh, the, under the word singular? How many? I can't hear you. One dog. One dog. Very good. One dog. If you have, what is, what is the second, uh, Sue? What is the plural? Two dogs. Two dogs. Okay. Do you see a difference there in dog? What is the difference in the, in the word dog and dogs? Singular one and plural two dogs. Or more. Yeah, can be more. Okay. If I have 
seven, how would I say that? Seven, seven, seven dogs. Seven dogs, yes. Seven dogs. So there is an, is there an S on dogs or not? Yes. S. Yes. Okay. So. Okay. If I have one dog, you write like this. We say dog. If you have more than one, then you have, say, seven. Dogs. This is a countable noun. Okay? It is a countable noun. Panda. How many men are in this classroom? Men, men. How many men? Six. Thank you. <laughs> okay. One. No. <laughs> okay. One man. How, how do you write it if there are six? Huh? M E N. Okay. This is also a countable noun. Okay? This is also a countable noun. Panda, do you understand? But you write it like this. You do not say men's or man's. You, the word changes. This is called an exception. Okay? It is an exception. But it is still a countable noun. So, um, How, Panda, how, uh, how many of these are on the wall? One, two, three, four. How would you say that in a sentence? There are, I'm asking Panda. There are four pictures. We will call them pictures, okay? There are four How do we make this plural, Panda? What do I need to do to change this to plural? Huh? I'm Panda? Pictures, yes. Very good. S. That makes them accountable. Okay? Done. Look at buoy. How many how many braids does she have in her hair? Buoy, please stand up. How many braids does she have in her hair? Braids. Okay, I cannot hear you. One. One. Make a sentence, please. She has. She has one. What? One what? One. One what? One base. Yes, thank you. Thank you, boy. She has one braid. One base. You had to do what? 
to give me the answer. You had to look and count. Correct? Yes. Okay. You had to look and count. So that makes this a countable noun. Okay? It is a countable noun. Men one. Not as and six. Men. Yes. One man. Yes. Six men. Yes. Yeah. And features uh, as. This is this is considered uh, irregular. Okay, irregular. Means it is not usual. It is an exception to the rule. Okay? It is an exception or irregular or unusual noun. That is why we write like this. We do not use the S to make it plural. Okay? Here is another one to confuse you. Um, Chop went to the market and she bought some fish for dinner. How many fish did she buy? Den, how many fish did Chop buy 